Hi there and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me Julian and today we want to talk about how you can migrate your existing Google Analytics event tracking into Google Tag Manager with the help of HTML5 data attributes. But before we get started, as always, these little videos are brought to you by gtmtraining.com. And if you are new to Google Tag Manager, I encourage you to check out our free email course at gtmtraining.com slash email course, where I'll guide you through five free short lessons to get started with Google Tag Manager, what it's all about and how to install it and use effectively. So check that out at gtmtraining.com slash email course. Now, just as an example here, we have a download link to our source cookie template here on our demo shop. And once we inspect this element, we see all the elements that we will expect from a link, a href with the link goal, the ID, the class, but then also a relic from the good old manual tagging days where you would input an on-click event into the element that you want to track. So for example, here we would send in a Google Analytics event tag with the category download, the action source cookie template and the label download links. Now, unfortunately, when we click this link, we see that nothing happens really in our event report. And that's because on this page, we have already Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics deployed through Google Tag Manager. So this old legacy event tracking code will no longer work. And this has to do with the different trackers that are opened when deploying through Google Tag Manager. So you need to migrate your existing event tracking code over to Google Tag Manager. Now there are different methods of doing this, but since somebody already put in the time to input such event tracking code into this element and maybe has already a plan on how to tag these tags correctly and just wants to port the information over to Google Tag Manager, not be advisable to do this via the auto event tracking and leave it all up to the available fields like ID or class, but rather use the data that we have already here available. And a good method nowadays is to do this with HTML5 data attributes. Now what are HTML5 data attributes. These are basically new attributes that you can input into elements and they have the purpose to extend and enrich the element with certain data in a standard way. And that way we can have extra information that is attached to this element exactly as we had it previously with our event code that we may attach to an element. So this is a good way to keep the data in our HTML element and just rewrite it into data attributes and then pick them up with the help of Google Tag Manager. So let's do this with our example here. Let's go into the HTML and I have a WordPress installation running here. This most likely be different for your platform. And what I'm gonna do is extend this link here with our data attributes and the data attribute is written as follows. You just put in data hyphen and then what attribute you ever want to call it. In our case, I would suggest to call this event category and we'll end this with the equal sign. Then our value of this attribute needs to be wrapped in two quotes or double quotes. Then we'll now have another attribute called data event action and another one data event label. And now we can transfer our data from our old event tag into our new data event category, our source cookie template, copy into our event action and our download link we copied into our event label. All right, that looks good. We can get rid of our old on-click event with our event data because we will handle this through Google Tag Manager and update this page. Let's do a quick lookup. 
and inspect our element. And we see here we have now new attributes, the data event category, event action, and event label. So now how can we pick this all up with the help of Google Tag Manager? Let's go over to Google Tag Manager. And now the first thing that we want to do is create a generic click trigger. So let's go over to triggers and define our new trigger. This will be our click trigger. And it will trigger on clicks and the targets are just links. And we'll untick these options here, continue and go with all clicks. Now we go into our preview and debug mode. Refresh our page and refresh here our page as well. Now I click on this source cookie template with the command key pressed. So it opens up in a new tab and our preview and debug console stays open. And we see here the GTM link click fired correctly. Now we can inspect our variables and see what we might want to refine our trigger with. Unfortunately, we don't have our data attributes in here. These are attributes that we actually need to define first. So let's go over to Google Tag Manager into variables and create a new variable. And this will be a data layer variable. And what we're gonna do is go into the GTM element object and look at the data set and pull out the event category. Now, these are all separated with a dot. So gtm.element.dataset.event category. Now let's call this event category. And set the default value to not set. And we create this variable. Refresh our preview and debug mode. Refresh our page. Click on this link again. And we see our GTM link click. And once we go into the variables, we now see our event category variable resembles whatever we have put into the data attribute field. Now what about our other data attribute fields? We would need to recreate them it's easy to do, we just go to our event category, click on copy here and change the name, in this case event action and change the last path here to event action as well. Let's create this variable and do the same with the event label, copy it, change the name. and change the data layer variable name. All right, great. We can create our variable, refresh our preview and debug mode. Let's see if it all pulls correctly. Let's click on our download link again. We see our event, GTM link click, and the variables. And now we have here event action is filled with source cookie template and the event category with download. So whatever you fill into these data attributes can then be picked up by Google Tag Manager. We can use these data attributes to power our trigger and our tag. So let's go over to Google Tag Manager into our trigger and turn our generic click trigger into a specific one, which will be our download link trigger And this will fire on clicks. But at the fire on option, we'll only go with some clicks where our event category does not equal not set because that's what we put into the default value if a link is clicked that doesn't have this attribute. 
So we can make sure only if the category is filled, we will fire this tag. Now we could be more specific if we have multiple other links out there and we only wanted to fire when a download link is clicked, we could put in download here as well. For now, I'll keep this very generic at event category does not equal not set. Let's save this trigger and connect it to a tag. Let's go over to tags and build an event tag. We'll go with Google Analytics and Universal Analytics. And we'll fill our tracking ID with a variable that we have prepared, which is the Google Analytics ID, which will fill in our tracking code into this field. And as a track type, we'll choose events. And for the parameters of this event, we can simply choose our pre-built variables, which is the event category, the event action, and the event label. Now all we need to do is connect this to our trigger, which is our download link trigger, and we can now test this by refreshing our preview and debug mode, refresh our page, and let's click on this source cookie template, and we see our Google Analytics event tag fired. And we are now receiving data in our Google Analytics account with the event category download, the event action source cookie template, and our event label download links. So we have successfully migrated our old event tracking code over to Google Tag Manager. Now this is not the only method of how you could build in event tracking with Google Tag Manager, but if you have pre-existing code and you just want to tell your developer to change the syntax into a HTML5 data attribute syntax, then this is a pretty easy way to migrate all your event tracking over to Google Tag Manager. And that's already it with this week's video of gtmtraining.com. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up or subscribe to this channel. And if you're new to Google Tag Manager, check out our free email course at gtmtraining.com slash email course. I'm Julian, till next time.